shit! You're not gonna do anything to him! Leo's just gonna die uh, a worthless uh, death, huh? Oh shit! He actually managed to hit him! What the hell?! <laughs> that was a decoy! Well, I guess he has uh, the same powers that we have. Oh yes. shit! Correct, Dingo. He has a replica of Anubis. Ken is in the frame. <laughs> Don't get angry, Dingo. This is just a form of entertainment. You devil! Damn, this guy is uh, is a piece of shit. <laughs> it's so poor that it's no match for the real one. Damn you! What is he doing? Look, Dingo! This is the power of Aumon! Huh? This place is not Aumon. Ken? This is just a... This is no more than a control facility of Aumon. Where's Aumon, then? A controlled facility for Aumon? The real Aumon is Phobos. Mars. Norman, are you trying to destroy Vasilia? <laughs> so what? But first, I begin by destroying all of Mars. Yeah, this guy is Vulcan, pretty much. <laughs> oh no! Jouty! have progressed with them. So where does such energy like Metatron lead our civilization? Destruction! Yep. Destruction to end all! The universe and human subconscious are willing their own end! Stop! Take this, Tingo! Blah. Well, Leo's uh, gonna join the ride, and Ken too. All right. several spots on Jehuti and the vector trap in the rear due to the previous attack. Can we move? Connection check. Available specs. Dash. Burst. Blade. Grab. Zero shift. Well, if zero shift is there, then we're gonna be fine. <laughs> zero shift is there, it's gonna be fine. And grab two. Ah, oh, shit! Round two! Or phase two against, uh... Motherfucking uh, Anubis. Where is he? Yeah, we can barely do any damage to him. We're gonna use the same strategy though.
Alright. Aw, oh, shit. I thought, uh... Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I thought I uh, might have uh, gotten uh, a chance there by being able to attack him once he actually throw these uh, uh, awkward projectiles that fills the area, but I guess not. Mm. Alright, let's continue on. Oh! Sorry, uh, ability that we have. Oh, we got our uh, health uh, filled up. Yeah. I tried it again, viewers, but, uh... I think he actually counters me. Hmm. He counters me every time I try to uh, to uh, to uh, to zero shift. Uh, with that uh, homing projectile, if I don't dodge it. Try it. Yeah, he, he counters me every time. So, yeah, the only way uh, for me is uh, just to have to wait for him until he actually shoots uh, this homing. Uh, Projectile. That's it. Shit. All right, half health. Shit. A little bit close. Dodging these projectiles might be a little bit tricky. Wow! <laughs> oh shit! Now he's mixing uh, things up, huh? Blocking? Shit. Shit! Still blocking! Maybe I'm gonna have to grab him? Shit! I tried to grab him and he did that. <laughs> fell that to me. Maybe I need to try and uh, stay away from him. It doesn't work. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to rush him. Rush him down. Rush that shit down. Oh shit. All right, we got our chance. I started uh, going back to throwing these projectiles, so. That's it! Yeah! Anubis is disabled for battle. Did we do it? Oh shit! Look at us! Definitely... We look different. Or did we absorb... Uh... Or did we absorb Anubis? Which is something that we might have... We probably... Shouldn't have done. Ken, Leo, are you all right? Yeah. Ken, Ken. Dingo. I defeated Anubis. Are you hurt? Everywhere. I'll ask for aid. I have some wounded. Can you pick them up? I'll send a ship immediately. Dingo, I think that's your name. I have to let you know this. I'm Henry G. That frame, Jehuti, is programmed to blow up at the core of Almon. Leo already told me about that. The programmer is... is one of us. One of our comrades named Alan. He added the program to the Ada system. Why? Just in case, for fear that Bahram might capture Jehuti. If they take Jehuti into Almon, Jehuti will blow itself up. Automatically? We expected that the energy could interrupt Almon's startup process. That's sneaky. But we thought of it as a last resort. If we could, we'd rather get Jehuti back. Why did you abandon it on Callisto? It was Leo who hid Jehuti and Callisto. If Baram captures Jehuti, Jehuti would blow itself up in Almon. He hid Jehuti and tried to stop Almon by himself. I see. So you mean Jehuti doesn't need to blow up anymore? If so, remove it now. It's impossible. Just in case Baram tried to remove it, we added it to the nucleus of the system. There must be another way to stop Almon. We don't need to blow up Jehuti. In case of need. Ada will start up the explosion system automatically. It's programmed to do so. That's nonsense. What if you actually need a Jyoti to destroy Almon? What? He's still alive? Shit. Uh, did I lose control? Uh, okay, I lost control for a little for a little bit. By the way, viewers. Uh, uh, where's the others? Oh, this definitely looks like an arena. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Alrighty viewers, so I guess uh we're gonna have to check uh that shit out, huh? Oh, look at that skybox. Uh I lost the ability to quadruple shoot. I still have my easy. Zero shift. Cool. Alright. But, uh, well, uh, What about, uh, the fact that, uh... 
Jyoti and uh, Anubis uh, are not destined to meet. What was that all about? The first game made a big deal out of it. It's the end for you, Noman. Same for Baram. <laughs> What the hell? Damn. We're gonna have to follow him? Hey, Anubis was swallowed up. The real power of Almon is not to attack the surface using compressed space. What? The real power is from energy constriction. It makes the best use of Metatron's superiority. Space uh, compression. Uh, that energy will swallow the entire solar system. Uh, that's serious. Please. I don't know what Stop that even now. mean. People on Earth always do what is convenient for them. Please. Then promise me, if I stop this, Earth will never meddle with Mars again, ever. <laughs> we have our own free will. What? Free Mars. I understand. I'll definitely make it happen. Tell this to the obstinate ones. If they don't understand it, Next time, I will battle with them. I swear. Trust me. Dingo. I don't trust her. I got another job. What are you going to do? If I die, please revive me again. Uh. You're not going to die. Wait in the ship. I'll be back soon. Oh! More enemies, whoa! Look at all these trash mods. Oh my goodness. Feel the power of motherfucking Jehuti! Yeah! 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 yeah. I'm gonna have to fight all of these? I'm not gonna have to follow uh, <laughs> uh, Norman. Damn, you can cancel uh, your attack with the uh, zero shift. Oh shit! Two violas? This, uh, Viola used to give me a lot of trouble, but now? She's useless. Wait, is that a mission file? I think that's a mission file. Uh, I don't need to destroy uh, these, huh? So might as well just ignore them. Just get down. Yeah. Leo's gonna try and follow me. Ada. Uh. 
But this is where he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna repair himself here? God damn. Whoa! This one is definitely hard to dodge. But for boss fight time, viewers, against Anubis, once more! Bitch, 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 bitch! Oh, I'm not doing anything to him! What the? Do I need to grab him? Come on! What do I need to do here? I'm not doing any damage to him! Oh shit! What is he doing? Ouch, ouch. Do I need to fuse myself in the uh, in the middle? Maybe I should try and grab him? I cannot grab him. Oh, I managed to hit him. But I managed to do some damage to him. Okay. So the idea is actually, uh, the moment, yeah, the moment I start to actually, uh, Crossing uh, weapons with him, I'll have to actually dodge and try and get behind him. Like this. All right. I'm not gonna leave him alone. Yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. We're barely doing any damage to him, though. Is he healing himself? I kinda get closer to him. I don't know what that did, uh, exactly. Yeah. 
Nice. Nice. Have to dodge these. Nice. Nice. The problem is that the amount of damage that I can actually do to him is not that high. Ow! Did that actually hurt me? I think the idea for me, uh, the idea here is to actually try and grab him. Yeah, he's healing. He is healing himself. I'm getting hit. Yeah, the amount of damage that I'm dealing to him is not that high. That's a problem. Is it because, uh... This is the beginning of the end. Is it because he actually went in the middle there? So I need to be careful with that? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, let's give this another try. Ouch. <laughs> Wonder if I'm gonna have to to grab one of these projectiles around me, to try and use it against him. Like he does, does he become invincible once he gets uh, in the middle? Is that it? Alright. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll have to, to be on his ass at, at all times. Like here. Uh... Ah, maybe this uh, attack is gonna actually help. I think uh, these objects, once it actually gets uh, reaches him, uh, they're actually gonna be the one that's uh, heal him. Uh, maybe these are pretty much uh, Metatron. Is that uh, like it's actually uh, it's actually fixing him? The bigger ones, not the smaller ones. These smaller ones don't do anything. Nice. Nice. I'll have to be on his ass at all times. Sometimes I don't know how he actually managed to actually get to me. Oh, I don't know how to dodge these in this phase. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge these. These are gonna home at you at the very. This it's really hard to dodge the these. End. They are gonna home at you really, really. Okay, the tracking on these homing uh, shots are like how ridiculous. Maybe I'm actually have to use uh, something. I might actually have to grab something and use it or something. Uh huh. What if I throw it at? Him? I cannot uh, switch to zero shift from here. Let me try and uh, get closer to him and see. Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna have to throw it at him. Maybe uh, that's gonna happen at a certain phase. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, cannot uh, cannot attack him like this. All right, we're doing some damage to him. Oh. All right. Managed to block it. Uh, I'm stuck in blocking animation though. Oh, my controller! Something uh, is wrong with my controller! Alright, fix it.
Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just trying to check what's happening with my controllers. This is the first time that the game is doing something like that. Anyway, let's continue on. That's a big problem, like, I, I cannot get a lot of uh, damage from these. Really, really small am amount of damage. Yeah, that's uh, what I need to do. I should destroy these. Gonna have to focus on destroy these. So this is the, like, some sort of, uh, the phase that, uh, He's gonna be invincible, and I'm gonna have to try and to minimize the uh, amount of health that he can get. Not follow him, he just escapes immediately. All right. Ouch. What was that attack? I'm gonna have to destroy these. Destroy these. Uh, how the hell did he manage to squeeze that? Thank you. 
If he goes black, then it's he's just gonna be invincible. Alright. Alright! That's it! Yeah! On my last mission, you sacrificed us. Understand? You killed my comrades. <laughs> so what? Those scum died so ungracefully. Wow. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. They're waiting for you now. Uh. I'm gonna have to uh, to to throw the final blow. <laughs> I thought I actually had to grab him. If only I could have uh, used the Victor Cannon to do that. <laughs> what is that light? Alman is starting up. Oh no. What? Ada! Don't come in! Dingo, this is Get out of here! You cannot escape from Alman's radiating energy. What should I do? By blowing up Jody, the reactor will lose control. The resonance of energy will cancel each other out. No! Ada! It is my duty. Switching mode. I am ready to blow up Jehuti to complete 200. No! Leo! Ah! What the hell? Light is constricting. It's too late. Impossible. 190 remaining. Don't give up! Ada, radiate Jehuti's energy and strike it against the core of Alman. That's not enough. If it doesn't work, do whatever you please. 180 remaining. I don't know what we're gonna do, by the way, but... I don't know what they mean by Jehuti's light, but... Uh, sure. Let's try that out. Anime! Shit. That was a black hole? Oh shit. I mean, if we're gonna die, might as well just blow Jody up. What the hell? Where the hell are we? <laughs> Anoops's head? Can't hear you. Destroy 
see shift out of the out of here. <laughs> Hey, we're alive! Damn hugging in space? And you thought Final Fantasy VIII uh, did that pretty well, huh? Where the hell are we? Or where the hell are you? Don't you need that, uh... You guys don't need, uh, these helmets? No? Alright. Dingo! Get me a relief party! Anubis. If Jehuti and Anubis were even, the ignition power would be even too. That thing is better suited for that role. Did I disobey orders? Never mind, Ada. What? It's okay. Use power for the right things. Oh, and that was very convenient. <laughs> <you believe in. laughs> so who's second hand? Your father. What does that even mean? This time, make my body normal. Don't you like it as it is? Hell no! That's way too big. You got it. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, viewers! There it is. I told you this game is not gonna be as long as, uh, you know, a little. It's gonna be a little bit longer than the uh, the first one. At least the first one. Uh, this one didn't uh, end abruptly. But yeah, viewers, the uh, famous Zone of the Enders Two, a really great game. Past 
uh, high action, high, yeah, uh, fast paced action combat at its uh, finest, pretty much. I like the simplicity of the gameplay, and uh, the gameplay itself looks cool. The gameplay itself looks cool, and, uh, you know, there was a, a game that I actually played where the gameplay looks cool to watch, but not, n not necessarily cool to play. Uh, not this one, though, viewers. This one is, uh, it's, uh, as fun uh, as it looks, pretty much. The, the, the gameplay is very simple, very smooth, uh, definitely... I like how the game, uh, uh, like, uh, pushes you to to try and experiment with uh, with some of the stuff. Even though I gotta be honest, like, it, all of that uh, gets uh, gets thrown out of the window once uh, <laughs> once you get zero shift. But uh, uh, maybe the uh, the uh, EX missions are gonna actually explore the. Uh, the gameplay mechanics a little bit uh, better, which is, you know, not that's not necessarily uh, a big uh, problem with the game, especially with the way, uh, like, uh, uh, the amount of uh, gameplay that this game offers. And uh, this is something that I would definitely compare to to uh, the Streets of Rage series. Streets of Rage series, I I'm a really big fan of the first one, viewers, but, but not that uh, much of a fan of the uh, of the uh, uh, additional entries, uh, uh, Streets of Rage 2 and 3, even though they keep adding to the combat mechanics. I, like, I feel that they just added way too much to make the game a little bit complex in, un in, in an unnecessary way. Uh, because they, even though, like, the big problem with adding a lot of stuff, viewers, in, in the game below, like, you actually have to add something to counter it, and that, that was the biggest problem for me in the Streets of Rage uh, 2. Have a nice day, why are you doing these comparisons? Uh, it's pretty simple, really. Because this game definitely kept its, uh, uh, like, original gameplay plan by keeping it really simple of what you need to do. The challenge themselves are gonna be, uh, like, uh, uh, are gonna be, uh, you know, you, you know, you know what you need to do, especially once, like, because you don't have a lot of many tools, but you can, uh, uh, how uh, should I say it, you can, uh, like, uh, the game kinda, kinda forces you to do a few things uh, to mix things up, but not in a, in a, in, a uh, in varied ways, but enough to make the game uh, interesting. And as I said, like the power, the uh, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the strong point of these kind of games is the uh, the fact that uh, it's really simple. It's really simple and fun gameplay. And uh, for uh, to make the game not uh, not be re boring or repetitive, you don't have to make it long enough <laughs> to uh, to you know to show how boring or re and repetitive it is. Like, don't repeat uh, the challenges over and over. And that's the strongest uh, thing about this game, especially if I if I want to compare it to the uh, to the previous game. Previous game was a little bit repetitive in the encounters. They tried to make uh, uh, to, to change. Uh, the, uh, you know, to change uh, things a little bit, but uh, they keep repeating itself uh, over and over, especially with the uh, with the saving the, uh, you know, with the defense missions, with the uh, with the narrow uh, hallways missions, uh, with straight line missions, and you you kind of see the same uh, uh, encounters over and over. In this one, it's. Somewhat the same, but the, a little bit varied. And as I said, uh, the biggest, uh, the biggest, uh, or the strong point of this game is actually, you know, uh, challenges not out uh, saying themselves. You're, you're gonna play the, uh, the, uh, you know, you're gonna play the uh, these sections. Once it's over, you move to the other one. Uh, uh, something new is gonna happen. New encounters, new ways to actually deal with them. Same mechanics in some way, 
although some of the new uh, abilities that you're gonna have, they're not gonna add. Uh, they're not gonna add that much in terms of uh, their in, in terms of complexity. Like the mines, you you don't actually see yourself trying to use the mines. Uh, sometimes they're actually like uh, with the. Uh, uh, what was the ability? The first ability that you get, where you uh, start using it uh, as a uh, a way to heal up your uh, your uh, your your live uh, allied uh, uh, mechs in that mission, where you uh, where we start uh, 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 invading uh, the Alman facility or the Alman control facility, and uh, you know they introduce these kind of stuff to change things up but uh that's the really good thing about the game like you giving you the simple tools to uh you know to use them in varied ways i gotta be honest i'm not a big fan of uh the the silly event what's the silly event and melee events uh overall ra rating c god damn uh i really didn't do uh, that much here Uh, but yeah, uh, getting back to, uh, what I want to say about the gameplay is that, uh, like, the strongest point, uh, the strongest point about, uh, the gameplay itself is, uh, it's pretty much its simplicity, and to keep it not being repetitive, uh, like, they introduce new stuff, and they don't linger for that much longer, uh, so you can actually, you know, go through, uh, certain challenges, every stage is gonna be different, uh, offers something new, which is uh, definitely, I think, the uh, this is uh, one of the strongest points of uh, the games of its caliber. And uh, not necessarily talking about an, uh, an action game, but there is uh, uh, another game that I remembered uh, that did uh, similar stuff, which was uh, 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 Crash Bandicoot 3. Yeah, I'm <laughs> it's, an, it's a different... Uh, uh, genre altogether we're, we're talking about, but uh, a lot of people didn't like uh, was criticizing that game for uh, you know having uh, you know not staying to its uh, yeah not offering a lot of uh, 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 platforming challenges like how it used to be in the first and second games, but the the thing that that game did it right and make it really a uh, really fun to experience is that they actually added a lot of variety and these varieties they just give you like a small taste of them so you can if you actually want to get back to that uh section of the game you can actually go back to the to that game uh try and play it uh, again even if you try to master it like uh, these are smaller portions that you can try and master it i think that this game might have done this uh, much better in my opinion, in that aspect. If they actually made uh, some of these stages um, a little uh, like a little bit uh, smaller, uh, a little bit shorter, uh, believe it or not, viewers, they that, that would have uh, made the game uh, much better as an action game, much better to try and master, especially since the game definitely uh, encourage, encourages you to test yourself. And, you know, with the, with the result screen here, uh, def it definitely does that. Uh, but then again, yeah, that's the strongest point of this game. Uh, smaller uh, section uh, sections of gameplay, uh, uh, smaller sections of uh, different gameplay, uh, uh, gameplay, what, uh, how can you say it? What's the best way to describe it? Well, I guess you can call it segment, smaller uh, segments, that's a little bit different, make, uh, you know, to make things, uh, uh, you know, to make thing, uh, things fresh, while, uh, you know, the, keeping the game uh, simple and enjoyable. As I said, this game is actually really fun to play, and that's the most important thing about it, and, and uh, since these games... Uh, it might get boring with with repetitiveness. The best thing uh, to do is actually introduce different segments. And if you cannot make uh, really, um, uh, I think it's really good. Like you have to understand your your strengths, uh, the strengths of your gameplay. That okay, we're gonna give you this uh, this uh, section. 
uh, it's not gonna take uh, take way too long, uh, and go ahead and uh, just um, you know like experience it uh, as you please. Uh, I don't know if uh, the game allows you to revisit these sections uh, yeah, pretty easily. Um, I'll I'll have to double check on that if that's uh, something that you can do. But as I said, there I'm gonna be honest. There is a there are a few sections in the game that uh, definitely overstayed uh, its uh, its welcome. But uh, we're talking about like a game that definitely could have. Uh, we're talking about the game that came before before Devil May Cry, and I gotta be honest, Devil May Cry definitely set the standard of uh, how action uh, games should be, or should strive to be, especially in smaller sections where you have to test yourselves uh, uh, in it, and definitely a lot of uh, different games uh, learned uh, from that. Uh, one of them, uh, definitely uh, Ninja Gaiden, uh, uh, God Hand, uh, Bayonetta, of course, and the uh, newer uh, Devil May Cry games definitely learned from that and mastered that. Uh, uh, and this game definitely came before all of that uh, becoming a standard. And I would, I can definitely imagine a game uh, with the same direction as these other games where you have smaller segments of actually knowing how, uh, like, uh, offering you the ability to come back to these sections again trying to master uh, these uh, sections, okay? because as I said, gameplay is really simple, not very deep, but it's really fun, and you can actually, there's like a, uh, like, um, um, there's a, a window to, of improvement to actually master yourself and and be uh, better and get a, and uh, to, uh, for getting uh, better results. Definitely the game offers that, because, um, uh, and I would love to see that. I would definitely love to see that from, you know, if, uh, for example, they're gonna make uh, uh, a newer game. Damn, I would definitely, I definitely wish if uh, the Devil May Cry team would definitely uh, <laughs> would uh, would jump on this series and actually do something interesting with them. Because I definitely trust them in actually making something. Uh, uh, really interesting with this uh, game, providing that they keep the simplicity the way it is, because uh, not every game need to be a Devil May Cry game. That's for sure. That's uh, the reason why uh, uh, I uh, I enjoy uh, um, you know a different action game that definitely don't strive to be uh, just another Devil May Cry game like uh, Ninja Gaiden Black and uh, God Hand and this one, of course. I would definitely put this game at a lower tier away from these uh, games. I would definitely, I wouldn't say that, the, like, I'm talking about S tier games, and I wouldn't call this game an S tier one. It's, um, it's an A, maybe B plus, but uh, the fact that uh, it's short, sweet, simple, is uh, why uh, this game is definitely. Uh, a good game, as and it's definitely a game that I would definitely recommend to anyone to to just play. Uh, biggest problem, like th uh, that's uh, you know that's uh, enough for uh, for uh, the uh, gameplay segment. Big problem though with this game, especially if you want to recommend the game to people that who that wants to you know enjoy the story. Uh, I think the uh, the fact that this game. <laughs> have terrible writing definitely terrible writing terrible dialogue and that de definitely it definitely showed that this game definitely was localized by a team that uh, that don't know how to speak english properly like definitely uh, and uh, not only that i think the game definitely failed to describe some of the uh, the core uh, story elements to it like oh, space compression uh, all of that, like, the game didn't bother to describe it. I do have, uh... Uh, I don't know if, uh, this is something that I actually, uh, shared in my Discord, uh, viewers. I do have, uh, both, uh, the Japanese and the English, uh, art book 
for this game and uh, the art books especially the Japanese one go in full of describing a lot of the stuff of course I I, I don't know how to speak Japanese <laughs> but I looked into some of the uh, people that actually managed to translate some of the sections here and there or at least the ones that did read the book and uh, have a little bit of understanding of the Japanese language and try to describe some of the sections in that book, especially when it comes to the, that space stuff, that space compression stuff and all of that. And uh, of course, even if these art books uh, came in English and uh, definitely described all of that pretty much, it's still a big problem if the game itself, the game that you actually bought and played, uh, fails to actually introduce all of these sections uh, to you in some way or another. All of the, the, uh, and, uh, all of the information that regarding the lore uh, uh, and the story element of the game should be should be in in the desk in the, within the game and not outside it you don't have to rely on different sources to actually uh learn about the game this uh this is the, this is definitely the game's biggest problem uh along with the of course with the with the shitty writing but it's still enjoyable like it's not something that would definitely deter people from playing this game as i said this game is short and sweet and uh it's definitely worth uh playing in my opinion so uh, uh, have a nice day uh give this game a the thumbs up this game is a highly recommended i recommend it to people that uh i recommend this game to anyone really it's not like uh, like if someone wants to play an action game uh, this is a really good start to introducing this game to uh to anyone really newer to action game or even uh, uh anyone that actually you know enjoy uh deeper mechanics uh, altogether this game definitely doesn't offer that much in terms of mechanic but the game is fun and addicting that's for sure the fast pace is uh, fun it looks fun it looks fun and it plays really well play uh, the uh, the gameplay is smooth the controls are smooth zero shift is really fun really cheap <laughs> really broken but it's really fun to just uh zap in uh, shift uh, behind your enemies and uh, dealing the death blow. It's really fun. It's really fun. And it's really interesting uh, how they apply that, uh, something cheap like that, into uh, like uh, a boss fight, which, uh, yeah. It was uh, fun overall. This game was definitely uh, fun overall. Anything uh, that we're uh, gonna have here? No, there's nothing. So, yeah. That would definitely conclude this playthrough of. Uh, Zone of the Enders, the second runner. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely did have fun uh, uh, with it. Uh, you know, usually at the end of uh, these uh, Let's Plays, you know, I would uh, plug, uh, from, uh, you know, my channel, uh, my Twitch channel, my Discord. That's unusual. You know. Uh, thumbs up, comment, all of that shit. Uh, if you enjoyed this playthrough, and uh, I hope you guys did. I definitely enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you in the next Let's Play series. And hopefully we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get more uh, of the zone in the Enders in the future. Uh, the future is uh, uh, definitely... Uh, sadly, it definitely, uh, you know, it's not gonna be that, uh, Ready for combat? The, the, the future is grim for this game, for this series, sadly, but so... This is you know, uh, the only thing that we can do is, uh, hope. <laughs> hope for more Zone of the Enders, So, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. This has been Have a Nice Day, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play session. Have a good one, everyone. Peace. Frame, don't you? Maybe. Even if you're far off, that's too rough. It sure is. Who's the commander? 
Is that you, Viola? to blow up at the core of Alma. In case of need, Ada will start up the explosion system automatically. It's programmed to do so. Ada, please answer my question. You're going to Almon, aren't you? So what if I am? Do you know Ada intends to self-destruct Jackie on Almon? <laughs> Ada, please look after him. On this ship anyway. <laughs> if anything happens to my pals on Callisto, you'll pay. I didn't kill them. I don't believe you. I've been dead once already. I'll bring it to an end myself. No! <laughs> Look, the perfect fusion of Metatron! The destruction to end all! <gasps> The machine supplements your heart and lungs. That power comes from Jehudi. You will die if you leave Jehudi. The performance of these two bodies is even. But to match Anubis, Jehudi lacks one thing. A program to bring out the full performance of Jehudi. That depends on the skill of the runner. Get out of my way! This is not domination, destruction. He's here. It is Anubis. You must, even if I don't make it. Listen, please, be sure to stop Alman. and human subconscious are willing their own end! Look, this is the will of Metatron! Do you realize how many of my comrades died back there? Bingo! You are one of the units for Project Alman. We're pals 
friends now, aren't we? Battle over. Anubis wins. You have come back under my command. You have done well.